Today I'm going to do a demonstration of ransomware. For those of you that aren't aware, ransomware is a malicious software that created about $325 million in revenue for some very bad people last year in 2015 alone. I have several different variants of ransomware here. One is called Locky. This is where the bad guys email your users a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet with an embedded macro. If the user clicks Enable Content, the macro is going to communicate to a website, download an executable into the user's app data, and silently encrypt all the information on the user's desktop behind the scenes, including map drives and network resources. Users often get emails where they'll have a link. If the user clicks on the link, the same exact thing happens. It doesn't matter if your user is a lockdown user or an administrator. Uh, the variant that I have here is something called CryptoBit, which is an offline variant of the CryptoLocker ransomware. And this is going to randomize an executable name. And when the user opens that executable, it immediately starts to delete their shadow copy and encrypt all the information. You'll see that back here, all my data now has the ECC extension. After a few moments, they have encrypted all of my data, several hundred megs of data, replaced my wallpaper with a uh, instruction sheet on how to pay the ransom. In this case, I have 96 hours and the countdown's begun. And if I don't pay the ransom by the time the 96 hours is up, I'll lose the decryption key forever. So all of my data will be permanently lost. Alternately, I can pay the $400, get the decryption key, and have access to my information again. Now I'm going to do the exact same scenario again, but this time I have Absence Application Manager running on the machine. With Absence Application Manager, it's a behavior-based whitelist approach. So it doesn't matter if I get an email with a link or, and click on a link, or if I open up a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet with an embedded macro, or if I click on a randomized executable. The behavior-based whitelisting piece is going to kick in and stop that executable from running before it begins. This is very different from the complex whitelisting of yesterday where you had to maintain a list of what could and couldn't run. This is doing it based on behavior. So it balances the usability with manageability of the environment. Absence Application Manager is a mature technology. I've been at Absence for five years. It's been around well before I joined the company. I personally run it on all of my home computers. I've even put it on my mom's computer. After you see somebody lose all of their information to the ransomware, you quickly understand the need for this type of security. Thank you for your time today.